So with the brand new Kenobi series coming out, I thought it'd be a good idea for me to express the five things that I really want to see for this series. I'm going to break this down in just five quick things that I really want to see from the Kenobi series. First thing, the Inquisitors. I'm a huge, huge, huge Star Wars Rebels fan on top of I'm a really big Jedi Fallen Order fan. So if you've watched either Rebels or have played Jedi Fallen Order, you already know that the main uh, villains are pretty much Inquisitors. And to me, I'm a Sith. I love Inquisitors. I love anything dark side related and pretty much anything that has a red lightsaber. So the thing that I'm really excited for are the Inquisitors. And it's not just, you know, seeing one or two. It's the fact that we're going to get the fifth brother, Reva, which is a brand new character that we haven't seen before. And sorry if I'm not pronouncing her name right. Uh, we have the Grand Inquisitor. Uh, and then I'm pretty sure we have a couple of the other Inquisitors, uh, sisters and brothers, which is super sick. And we can see in the Kenobi trailer that they spared no expense on not only the lightsabers, but the makeup and design. I've seen a couple people complain about the whole Grand Inquisitor, how his head doesn't look right. Well, I don't know, let's put it this way, bud. It's a live action Star Wars compared to animation. There's gonna be differences. That's like perfect example. If you're gonna have Count Dooku from Clone Wars, it's gonna look nothing like Count Dooku in real life because it's real life. Or same with Cad Bane from uh, Book of Boba. I, I, people were like, oh, his nose, his face. Oh, shut up. He looked great. He looked fantastic. And I loved everything about that. So the main thing for number five would be Inquisitors. Just really, 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 really excited to hear about them and see about them and learn more about their origins. Number four is I want Kenobi to stay as far away from the Force as possible all the way until at least episode five or the very last episode. Reason being is because it wouldn't make sense for him to be using Force at all because Vader is out there. That's right, our boy Vader is somewhere in the galaxy just searching, waiting and thriving to kill Jedi and a Especially Kenobi. He's trying to get that whoop. He's trying to get that payback. He's trying to throw him in a volcanic pit to watch him burn. He's not, you know, he's not out there trying to look for some, you know, Ezra's or something. Nah, man. He, he's straight up trying to find your boy Kenobi. And I really hope that Kenobi does a good job with keeping the force down and just pretty much sticking to melee and uncivilized weapons like blasters, which we got in the first and second trailer for Kenobi. So that's really exciting for me. Number three would definitely have to be seeing Vader. I am so hyped to see a Vader played by our boy Hayden. We only got, what, two minutes of screen time in Revenge of the Sith of him as Vader and him just going, no! Yeah, nobody cares about that, all right? That was cool, that was cringe, that was funny, but now we get to see a full-fledged Darth Vader. And it's not just gonna be some old-ass Darth Vader that's slow, like we got to see him in New Hope, and you know, Return of the Jedi, and all that, nah, dude. We get to see, hopefully, a pretty quick and fast-moving Vader, which is something I'm really, really, really looking forward to, and I haven't been spoiled yet. I haven't seen any spoilers. I haven't seen any Vader fight scenes like people have been talking about. I don't care about that. I hate spoilers. I hate them. I hate them. Number two is learning more of the origins of what happened after Order 66. I know everybody is so sick of hearing about Order 66. Well, guess what? I'm not. I'm not. Because there's too much, too much shit that has been not, not untold. Like, we haven't seen every little detail of order 66 like for instance we have not seen what kenobi's done so this is going to be exciting for me i really hope that we get to you know run into a couple you know characters that we wouldn't expect to see because of the timeline differences like maybe bo katan maybe ahsoka uh, maybe anything i don't know i just i hope we get something during this uh, like the downtimes and the episodes um one of the things that really caught me off guard on um the trailers is seeing you know obi just lurking on little old luke little luke sitting there you know just pod racing it up chilling at his house and just having ben just be super og 
creeper sitting in the background watching his boy. I think I think things like that are going to be really exciting to see for a lot of us Star Wars fans. And also seeing like Owen Lars and Uncle Ben, stuff like that. Like, bro, come on. That trailer, that was tough. He hit your boy with a, we're not going to let you do what you did to Anakin, to Luke, bud. And like pretty much just cutthroat told him, nah, you failed. You're not going to fail at this one. But we all know how that went out and eh, Luke, Luke didn't really fail. So... Plus, big ups on Obi for that one. Seeing something to do with Qui-Gon. I said it. I don't care if it's a force ghost. I don't care if it's one second from Neom just saying, use the force. I don't care. I just want to see it. I just want to hear it. I want to be around it. Because Qui-Gon is my favorite Jedi. And I feel like he has a lot to do with not only the entirety of Star Wars, but a lot to do with Kenobi. I mean, come on, he's his master, not only is his master, he's the one that taught him everything and guided him through everything and showed him that the Jedi are not always right. Also, with that being said, I wonder if Kenobi has a little bit of like, I don't know, resentment towards himself, or maybe just feels like, man, I probably should have listened to that dude when he was saying, you know, not everything they do is straight, bud. And he's like, nah. Nah, council says it's good. That means it's good. I mean, come on, Yoda's saying it. Anywho, that is something I really want to see is Qui-Gon. And number one. Well, this is a Star Wars channel that loves lightsabers, so it's definitely going to be the lightsabers, especially the Inquisitor ones, because obviously I love Inquisitors. I love the whole double spinning, flying on my little helicopter I think that is amazing, I think that's hilarious, and I think it's sick, and I just wanna see that in live action, plus some of the hilt designs, which I will have here, and here, and here, are all different, which is so sick. Like, I honestly thought there was one type of Inquisitor hilt, not gonna lie to you. I don't know if that is a lack of research or lack of paying attention, but uh, yeah, there's multiple, did not know that. I thought there was just the one with the, you know, the ring. No, this one, there's all sorts of cool grooves, moves, slides, dives, and dips, and drips. It's sick. I'm loving it, and I cannot wait to see them. I can't wait to see Vader's. DV3, DV2, DV400, whatever the hell it's called, it's sick, and I love it. Seeing Kenobi's saber as well is super cool, but you know what? To me, I'm not, I'm not super not like die hard for those, you know? Like, I think they're gonna be cool. I'm rad, you know, they're rad. I'm excited to see them, but really excited to see the other Inquisitor hilts because, you know, your boy's a Sith, loves Inquisitors, double-sided lightsabers, goes hand in hand, it's dope. So, the lightsabers are definitely the number one thing I am most excited for in the Kenobi series. I hope you all enjoyed this video of uh, my top five things I'm looking forward to for Kenobi. If you guys would like to see the top five things I'm not excited about for Kenobi, definitely put the comments below and let your boy know how you like this video. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more lightsaber news, nerd news, and much more. Have a good one, and thanks for watching New Type Sith. Bye!